this is a hot topic because there are many people still thinking that you cannot live righteous on a daily basis. This is scripture showing you that there were many people in the Bible that were righteous before God, righteous or holy or sanctified. God himself says, be holy for I am holy. Why would he say this if it were not possible? It is impossible for any human to attain such status of themselves. Now, those who live according to God's will, they are declared righteous by his standards, not ours. That being said, I'm going to give you the first one. And this is about Enoch. And I said in a, I believe I made a short about this, that Enoch is a type of rapture. Because it says here, Enoch, Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him. It is a mysterious thing. So will be the rapture. Because Jesus said, you won't, know when it's coming two will be together working in the field and then one is just going to disappear one will be taken the other one left the same way that Enoch was taken I need to add this in there because people tend to use things like this to try to ridicule the Bible oh how can Enoch go to heaven because he didn't die now here's the thing when they say that they actually don't understand scripture they just take uh, the Bible as a whole, but they take verses out to criticize the scripture because if you know the scripture, it is exactly the same way how God took Enoch will be the rapture. God is just going to take you without any warning. But wait a minute, you're still alive in the physical form. <clears throat> However, Jesus said, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. Is that a contradiction of scripture? No, because the scripture says in the blink of an eye, we will be transformed. Our bodies will have to change. Just like an astronaut put on a space suit to navigate outer space, we need to change because God set it up that way. So that's the first one. Enoch was righteous. The second one, Noah found, listen, grace in the eyes of God, not human reasoning. Noah was a just man. Just as in justly, like justice, righteous. Perfect in his generation. The word perfect means perfect. But sometimes perfect can mean fully mature. This is not talking about maturity. This is talking about perfect. But nobody's perfect. No, none of us. On our own merits. Noah walked with God. Same as Enoch. But he was left on earth. You see? Now we go to the third one. Abraham. The Lord appeared to Abraham and said to him, I am Almighty God. But actually, this is Jesus. Walk before me and be blameless. Be without sin. That's what it means, blameless. But everyone is born in sin. Absolutely. Take off thy sandals off thy feet because where you stand is holy ground. You become sanctified through faith in God and your sins are removed. Because sin cannot be in the presence of God. Period. You cannot compromise. So, now, remember, I need to say this when he says, walk before me and be blameless. I'm Almighty God. This is Jesus before he even came into the world through the physical birth, through Mary. Because no one has seen God 
Mm, contradiction? No. The scripture says that Jesus is the embodiment of God. Jesus says, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Scripture backs itself up. Only people without knowledge of scripture will twist and make some false teaching. But now, we'll move on. For I have known him, still speaking of Abraham, in order that he may command his children and his household after him that they, listen, this is the reason, that they keep the way of the Lord to do righteousness and justice that the Lord may bring to Abraham what has what he has spoken to him. Would you destroy the place if there were 50 righteous? Speaking of Sodom and Gomorrah. So you see, there was none righteous in Sodom, but Abraham was. How many missed that message? Abraham and his people, they were spared. Lot and his family was spared. Why? God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because of the unrighteousness. Jesus said, I did not come to call the righteous all over scripture people. Righteous people walk the earth then and today. Not by our own doing. It is through sanctification, through faith in Christ. Now, number four, Job. Have you considered my servant Job? For there is none like him in the earth, a blameless and upright man. Blameless means you are without sin. Who, and listen why. Who fears God and shuns evil. So you see. Let thy will be done on earth. The our father. Jesus says not my will but yours. You see. Jesus just comes to teach us the will of the father. That's what the message is. So he demonstrated the faith that is required to please God. Scripture says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So that is it for showing you that there are righteous people. And then Peter says it in the New Testament that no prophecy has ever come by private interpretation, meaning it's not from ourselves. It is through the Holy Spirit. But it says, holy men of God prophesied while they were moved by the Holy Spirit. God does it through us for His glory. The Bible is a book of prophecy and historical evidence. Wow. What about this? What about the finding that was recent a few years back? but I just saw this on social media, that in the mosaic, it says, Jesus is God. <laughs> awesome. So listen to this carefully. When Jesus returns in Revelation, it says, he who is righteous, let it be righteous still. He who is unrighteous, let them remain unrighteous. Jesus is going to separate the sheep from the goats I did not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance you can walk righteously if you choose to do so empowered by the Holy Spirit through faith in Christ who bled on the cross to remove your sins and mine I'm Pastor Rich walking ministries online and I will see you soon <laughs>